Bonjour tout le monde. How much to tip in France? And to who exactly? Can you offend someone if you don't let a tip? Or if you do? There are seven professions that usually receive tips in France. There are no set rules regarding tipping, but there are common practices left at the client's appreciation, which can be complicated when you are an expert. But I will reveal them for you now. I'm Giga, a French serial expat, born in Brittany and raised in Lyon. I have lived in many different countries and tipping is one of the questions I wonder about in every new country I've settled in or visited. If you like this type of content, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. There is more to come. But how does tipping work in France exactly? And how to avoid a faux pas if there is no rules? The first thing you should know is that the price always includes the 15% service charge and also the VAT or sales tax. The waiters in France do not depend on tips to make a living compared to other countries. But for sure, a tip is always appreciated. So if you are particularly satisfied with the service, don't hesitate to leave a tip even though the service is included and the minimum wage in France is regulated. You will find a video about the French minimum wage up there. The professions that receive tips that I will tell you just after still make lower wages than the average worker. So tipping is always welcome. Then, how much should you give exactly? 5% is a normal tip in France and 10% is a good one. That's really up to you. But who should you tip? What are the common professions to tip in France? They might be similar that in your country. I'd be interested to know if there are others that also receive tips. In France, there are seven professions that usually receive tips. The most common ones are the restaurant, bars and cafe waiters. If you go to an expensive restaurant, a 10% tip or so is expected. And when I say expensive, I mean more than 40 euro per person. Then it would be the hotel staff, luggage handler, porter, cleaning staff. Three, it would be the beauty salon staff mainly the shampooer, the apprentice or the beauty therapist, not the owner or the boss. Then four, it would be the usher and the usherettes. Yes, they still exist, usually in small theaters or at live concerts. Then in five, it would be the tourist guides. Six, the delivery man or woman. And finally, the taxi drivers. This doesn't mean that you always have to tip these professionals. It means that tip I welcome for them. So, if the tips are welcome for them, are there any profession that you should not tip? Did you know that you could offend someone if you give a tip when this is not the custom? For example, in Japan, tips are not part of the culture. But in France, it would also be inappropriate or even illegal to tip some professions. Tips are highly inappropriate for health professionals. There is a set fee and you should just stick to it. Also, giving tips in the health sector is mostly illegal or usually forbidden in the staff work contract. Expecting a tip from a person in situation of weakness is seen as an abuse of vulnerability and also theft. A nurse, for example, could lose her or his job for accepting a tip. Avoid giving any tips to health professionals. This is the best way to go. If you want to show your appreciation, give chocolates or flowers. Then how to give you tip in a restaurant or a cafe? When you're eating at a restaurant or having a drink in a bar or a cafe, hopefully soon again, Waiters will always give you the change back, usually on a small plate. You can leave the change on the plate and go. There is no need to give it in person to the waiter. This one will need to rush not to lose the tip if you're sitting at the terrace. Also, when you pay the bill, you can say Gardez la monnaie, keep the change, to let them know that the change is the tip.
people usually round up the total and leave their coins. This is not seen as inappropriate or a lack of respect in France. You can also leave a higher tip, usually up to 10%, if you are really happy with the service. This is the second video of my 30-day challenge. Your challenge is to reach 300 subscribers by April 7th. If you do, I'll organize a nice giveaway with a one-hour free relocation consultation to figure out how you can move to France or deal with one specific French admin task. Check the first video for more information. You will find the link up there. Merci et à bientôt!